Hi everyone and welcome to our latest Arky9 tutorial. Today it's a very quick one. It's a few quick tips and tricks from Corona 6. Tips that we really enjoy and we think will be super helpful for your renders. We have Mihal from our team who's going to be presenting this one. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And before I forget, we have the image and portfolio review workshop going on and don't forget to sign up. There are like two weeks left. We still have spaces. There is a promo code below. We're going to be showing you how you can improve your images, how you can improve your portfolio and how you can really get yourself out there projected more jobs, clients, as well as special overpaints by myself and Timon. And just for the kicks of it, we're going to add a little post-production class at the very end. So I hope you guys sign up below, enjoy this tutorial, and I'll catch you on the next one. Hi everyone, my name is Michal and I am a 3D artist here in Arc9. Today I would like to share with you some of the most interesting features in the latest Corona renderer release, version 6. For the purpose of this tutorial, I've prepared a simple sunset terrace scene, which will help me to illustrate new features in action. Let's assume we would like to create a material for this beach down there. We have this nice texture with all the details. We do some basic setup with reflection glossiness and normal map. Let's try and render it. As we can see, the result is far from ideal, even if we plan to work on this image in post-production. Visible tiling is going to make this much harder and it doesn't feel natural. Let's see what we can do with it. In the maps, we have a node called Corona UVW Randomizer. It's been here before, allowing us to differentiate mapping between different objects and elements. But what's new is the tiling category. Let's check Randomize each tile Plug this to every map and see what happens. As we can see, not much has changed. We need to adjust our settings. Here the general options of the node come to help us. Let's set U and V offsets from 0 to 1 and W rotation to 360 degrees. This will randomly shift and rotate our texture on the whole surface of our object. We need to do it for every node with the same settings to make it work correctly. Let's see the result. As we can see, the result is now much more natural and possible to work with. Of course the settings you need to use may need to be different for your scene. Feel free to shift things around and see what suits you best. The second functionality I wanted to share with you is mask propagation of reflective and refractive materials. We have our sunset terrace scene and let's assume we would like to work on it later in post-production. We have different masks selected in different elements, like channel or wire color masks. Problem starts if we would like to have the beach mask instead of the balustrade, which obstructs our view in this situation. Head to the material editor and select our glass material. In advanced options category, we can find the propagate mask section. We choose through refraction. Let's render and see what happens. Our beauty pass remains unaffected, but if we check masks, the balustrade acts as a transparent object. It allows us to see the mask of beach behind it. Let's explore other options. Never is the default option, showing the mask as fully opaque material. Let's try through reflection. Now our mask behaves like a mirror, showing masks of the objects that are reflected in the glass surface. We also have the option Always, that will show us either refracted or reflected masks, depending on which one is more prominent in the material. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and thank you for your attention. Also, big thank you towards all Corona renderer developers who do an amazing job and try to make our lives easier every day. So thank you, Mihal. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I can't wait to catch you on the next one. Do not forget, we have the portfolio and image review workshop. That's quite a long one to say, right? And I hope you guys sign up and we can't wait to meet you in person and well, over Zoom, right? <laughs> but we can't wait to interact with you and really um, get the creative juices flowing. So catch you on the next one and don't forget, I forgot this last time as well. 
do it in post. <laughs>